So this is my old bedroom. Recently I moved out into my brother's room and apparently my sister decided to dump all over it and ruin our bedroom. This is not a cool way to live guys. So this is why I'm doing a video about decluttering. Clutter can come in all forms, but nevertheless, when you see this kind of clutter, wherever it is in your life, get rid of it. Hi guys, so it's just a quick one really. Um, as you saw from the photos I've just showed you, I've had a clear out and I've decided to properly move into my brother's bedroom. It's a small room, as you can probably see, it's a bit cluttered, my stuff doesn't fit in here properly. But I'm out of the messy room that I shared with my sister. It's a new space and I feel like my head is clearer, so boom, moving forwards. I've also got this nice box of junk right here that I'm going to sell, this stuff I'm going to sell. Um, I've wanted to sell things for a long time because obviously when I, you work part time you don't make a lot of money you need to find other methods of getting that money and so selling your old crap that people might want is one way to do it and so that's what I've been doing um, I felt like I've had a really productive morning doing that and that was really great and then I've just finished my anxiety and depression support group that I lead uh, and that was really great too I had a new person who said that she feels much more confident after coming so hearing her say that has been ooh, so amazing and then uh, yesterday I did a motivational talk for unemployed people and it was really great to just reel off how I've, how I've done what I've done and how I've stayed motivated even in times of trial and feeling like I've been judged, feeling like I've been uh, knocked back so many times, feeling anxious, feeling depressed but still carrying on and doing what I feel I need to do. So boom, that was great as well. <laughs> um, so all in all it's kind of been like a, a positive week but yeah, there's still something nicking, like getting at me. Um, I've had kind of like a thing with a family member and it's kind of bugs me that they feel that way and I've, all I ever do is try to be the best that I can be. I've worked hard, I work hard every day, I never just sit on my ass. Um, so to still have, you know, people that you care about look down on you uh, feels kind of annoying. It feels like you can't win no matter what you do but I'm trying not to let the haters get me down as they say. Um, yeah. That's the trouble with like you know being this age is that you're trying to find yourself and then whilst you're trying to do that everyone's looking on like huh why is she doing that for <laughs> why why she make that decision and obviously they're gonna think that I'm trying to teach myself that people are gonna think what they're gonna think and sometimes you can't change their mind and that's fine and you know you might I might be wrong in what I've decided to do but I've got to do it and so I've got to do what I've got to do, got to learn whatever lessons I've got to learn and see what happens and that same goes for you if you've ever felt like that, like you've been judged by people, you've got to let them judge sometimes, you can't change people's opinions, um, let them do what they've got to do but then you know inside yourself if you've got to do something then you've got to do it, even if it ends up being the wrong thing, you need to do it to teach yourself that lesson so yeah that's that's kind of what I want to talk about today, just getting rid of those negativity, clearing out bad things like literally and also clearing out things in your mind you know going through things um that self-help book that i'm reading you are a badass really helped me with that last night it's about forgi like forgiving um people even when they don't say sorry because it only hurts you to keep holding on onto those bad thoughts so um yeah definitely starting to put that into practice but hopefully some more positive things to come this weekend i'm going to oxford with my boyfriend that should be a nice trip um and yeah we shall see things are happening oh I've also started to sell my uh, writing services so if you're somebody who wants some writing doing or editing doing or whatever proofreading then I'm your gal you know just hit my, go to my website authorsrcrawford.com the link will be in the description and hit me up for a quote but until next week I don't know I'm trying you're trying let's do this thing bye